ask you guys. And so that question is, what is the craziest thing you've ever done for love? Now, you can get crazy or you can keep it conservative crazy. But what is your definition of the craziest thing that you're willing to share for love? Um, the craziest thing, I married a stranger. Married a stranger. So that's, so that's, that's the craziest thing. Can you please elaborate? <laughs> that's, that's right. <laughs> because I am. And, um, please, and please keep it at a Is it her? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I'm going to try to sum it up real fast. I was, it is real, uh, I was in a season, obviously walking with the Lord. I was in deep communion with Him. Um, I knew the wife was coming. I didn't know when. And as I was walking along this season, finally I heard the Lord say, "This is your wife." We didn't even like each other. We didn't date. We didn't really know each other. I didn't care for her. She didn't care for me. But we both knew, hey, it's time to be married. Let's go get married. No kiss. No nothing. <laughs> So at the altar. So one, how long have you been married? And two, how did you meet? Two and a half years. We've been married two and a half years. Um, and we met in church. I joined her church. Even though she was and absent. Mama was even though she was absent a lot. I was absent a lot. A lot. Yeah. I came to church a lot too. Yeah. I don't remember that. Uh, <laughs> I came to church a lot. It was, the church was located inside of my mom's house, so oh, okay. I, I lived there, so I was there a lot. Oh, uh, okay. Surprisingly, she was still absent. <laughs> she went to service. <laughs> That's the yeah, question. I was, I was lucky to go kind of late. You know, I was, I was the, 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 I wouldn't say rebellious, but I, I'm one of those type of people, you know, when it comes to church, I, I keep it real. Even though my mom is a pastor, I'm not, I'm never one of those type of people that's like, oh, my mom's a pastor, so I'm going to. I keep it real. I I was I was wild. So you know I came to church, but I may have came in there a little a little inebriated or something like yeah I'm here like I came, but I may have been an hour late. So I what came. is the craziest thing you've ever done for love? Because that's what he did. But what is the craziest thing you ever done? I probably would say the same thing. I mean, <laughs> to marry someone that you don't know, you've never been in a relationship with. That's something, that's an arranged marriage. That's something that but the average person... I was about to ask that. Is, there, is it love? Mm. Now? Yeah. Oh, I'm oh, saying definitely. then. Was it love? Nah. No. No, it did out of obedience. Uh, I knew love would come. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I did it out of obedience. I'm sorry. You weren't really going to church, but you did it out of, out of obedience? Let me clarify this because he, he kind of messed y'all up with this. He was one of those type of people, he would get to church two hours early. I was there just about every Sunday, but I wasn't there in the same sense that he was there. Mm -hmm. I wasn't on the same you know, smoking weed. I just was he we we, we we cut from two different cloths. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I was doing me, but I was there. I had to sing at church every Sunday. So I was there and the days that I wouldn't be there, you know what I'm saying? People knew that I wasn't gonna be there, but you know, I forgot the question. I had to say the craziest thing. Right? Right? Oh yeah, the craziest thing. Yeah, but basically it was marrying him. I was the one, in all honesty, I knew that it was him that I had to marry. So it was kind of like I knew and then he found out next. Right. So the craziest thing, yeah, was marrying him because I, I did not want to do it. But I was at a point in my life where it was just like I was ready. I was ready to be married. And after dating so many guys and going through the last relationship that I was in, being the age that I was, it was like I was done. Like I literally told God, I'm done. Like I just, I'm done. Like I'm ready to be married. So when the Lord spoke to me and told me who my husband was, it was like, no, no. Like literally, those are my words, like no. But because I was ready, I was obedient. Right. Um, so the craziest thing I've done was Probably went to somebody's house and broke the window. <laughs> and it sounds crazy, but it, I mean, it was crazy. Right. It was crazy, but I was in, you know, I popped up and he was there with somebody else Ooh. and I was trying to get in there to kill everybody. Did you get in it? No, to I didn't. Kill? Everything was locked. So I was popping off springs, jumping fences. <laughs> I was trying to get, but it's all because. You know, I felt like something that that was that belonged to me was being trying to be 
taken away from me. Mm. So I felt like I got to protect that at all costs. Mm. So whether I stab him or I stab her, <laughs> somebody was going out on a stretcher. <laughs> that, that was mine. But, but in the end, did someone what go did out on the stretcher? In the end, I didn't get in. <laughs> I left. And I left the situation. Did you leave willingly or in handcuffs? <laughs> oh, um, I left willingly. I had to literally call my mother and tell her what the situation was. And she came. I don't know how she got there because my mother don't drive. And she came about 20 minutes from downtown DC to Upper Marlboro. So she got there. But that was just like, it was an eye opener, but it was the craziest, like, craziest shit. <laughs> Think of it, it's like, who would... I don't know. I was thinking this whole time I was listening to everybody else. Like, what could I say? But I don't want to. I don't want to underestimate anybody else and say that if you were in love, you might not do this or you might not do. But it's it's all based on your perspective, and so right. So for I would say I don't know if y'all gonna be able to relate to this, but the to me the craziest thing that I did for love was agree to stay in a long distance relationship. And how long distance? Um, and where I was your here, location? Here as in? In Maryland. Okay. And my significant other was in New York City. Well, not, well in New York State. Oh, New York State. right. Okay. So, um, and the reason I say that that's crazy is because I think you like, you, like we were talking about before, you really have to know yourself. And I think I knew, looking back now at it, I, mean, I think I knew at that time that there wasn't a good idea, there wasn't a smart thing to do for either one of us. Mm-hmm. Um, we were young, I was a lot younger. We were um, just exploring, exploring life. And you know, as hard as you might wanna be with somebody, there's a difference between wanting to be with somebody and not wanting them to be with somebody else. And how long did the relationship last? Two years. Okay. Um, but it didn't see, the first year was not long distance. Mm-hmm. So then it's like, do we let go? So they were here. They were here as well. Uh, we were we were together here and then um, grad school. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it was like, I, don't, I can't stop you because that's what you need to be doing. Right, right. But should we stop it? Because we are, anything happened. And so did it, things end because of the long distance or other reasons? Um... Ultimately, I would say it was the distance. Um, I just don't think we had enough discipline for that distance. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I think that we both knew that when it was brought to the table, and it just was not wanting to let it go. So it's, that's why I think it's crazy thing because I just wasn't being rational. Okay. I wasn't being rational. I was letting my I was going with my heart instead of my mind. Being as though you've been through that situation, do you think that now, so I'm guessing maybe it was before you were 27, mm-hmm. and now that you're 27, and of course by next year you'll be 28, would you still make that decision again by getting into a long distance relationship? Um, I would never get into a long distance relationship. Mm-hmm. Um, if, I was, if I was in a relationship and it happened to go long distance, I think now because of dealing with that, I'm more prepared to handle it. I'm a little older now. Um, I'm a little, just to be honest, less resistant, less resistant to temptation. Mm-hmm. Like, and I would, I would um, just go into it completely more cautious than I did last time because I've been through it before, and I know that they can work. I have, I have friends who have long distance relationships that have worked out fine until they've come back to each other and everything's been great but I just think that you really like I said you really gotta know yourself right yeah and I know me now versus me back then I think that me now will be able to handle it if it did ever come up I wouldn't enter it knowing that though if that makes sense right okay what I came up with is I'm not really a crazy person (laughs) So I really wouldn't do nothing real crazy. But what I thought about is I'm from a different era than all y'all. So (laughs) with this particular person, they end up going long distance. You Mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So that's when you used to have to pay to call long distance. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to even have cell phones and all that. So 
I ran up the phone bill to like fifteen hundred dollars to talk to this person. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that was crazy, right? Yeah, was crazy. You know what I'm saying? And in hopes that, you know, we was gonna be together, live together and all that, even though we were like, you know, twenty years old, mm-hmm. nobody had a job. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Nobody was paying the phone bill, you know. But we was gonna be together. <laughs> did you call me call? And did you oh, and yeah. did you uh, so did, did you stay in that relationship or how did that relationship end? We just grew apart. You okay. know what I'm saying? And just stopped talking one day. You know what I'm saying? It was like really that simple. So it was love, but it really wasn't love right. because it just ended. Mm-hmm. You know? <laughs>